continuing our journey looking at specific features of the Framemeister, on today's episode of How To XRGB Mini, we are going to take a look at the Image Mode function. Before we look at game footage, I want to look at a helpful table put together by the folks over at JunkerHQ.net. I want to focus on the Low Pass Filter column. Generally speaking, I recommend the Picture Image Mode for progressive sources and Natural for interlaced. The reason being, the low pass filter is disabled on these modes. As noted in the wiki, selecting an image mode where the low pass filter is enabled will result in a severe loss of detail. To best showcase this loss of detail, let's take a look at the Sega 32X game, Calibri. This game relies heavily on dithering to overcome the color limitations of the hardware, and by using an RGB cable, we can see all of the intricate sprite work the designers did. However, when changing to a video mode that enables the low-pass filter, most of the pixel work is blurred together. Not only does the image have a strange painting-like appearance, detail in the trees and shrubs is completely gone. Moving on, let's take a look at Crash Bandicoot for the PlayStation. The stage select screen has plenty of trademark PlayStation dither, most noticeable in the sky and water. Upon enabling the low pass filter, the image at first seems like an improvement. However, upon closer inspection, we can again see detail has been lost. The temple near the bottom of the map now looks soft and blurry, as the texture has been smeared into an N64 like state. Finally, let's look at Metal Slug 5. Again, using picture mode, the image is a beautiful emulator-like experience. However, when switching to a low-pass filter enabled image mode, detail is again lost. The rocks on the bottom of the screen have been softened, and the pixel size details in the background have completely disappeared. As always, I encourage you to play with all of the different options to figure out what they do and how you might use them, but picture and natural are the ones I use the most. Hopefully, these examples have given you a better idea of how to use some of the Framemeister's more advanced settings and help you achieve an excellent picture. 